these reports of gold in, in California can, are so such a scale, they can scarcely be believed, but they have been verified by officers in the public service. That was his quote, hmm. which is a 19th century for it's all true. And it caused an explosion all over the world of people saying it's true. And they all raced into ships and everything to come to look for gold. And so it was really, that was in December of 1848 that he said that in a joint session of Congress back when they gave the State of the Union address in, in December. He said, now, now we give in January. And so the following year was 1849. And that was the year in which these hordes of people, three to 500,000 people came to California, which is on the other side of the world from everywhere. And it was yeah. in the middle middle of beyond the middle of nowhere. And so that's the year of the so-called 49er that caused the population to go from nothing. San Francisco was about 200 some people to just explode. Let me ask you really quick. So the natives that were native to the Americas, were they pushed out previous to 1848 or were they pushed out as a result of the implosion from the gold rush, that race? That's a really good question. The California was first populated about 13,000 years ago by native natives that came over from Siberia by, via the land bridge over Alaska. And they came down the coast to California in canoes and began to populate. That would have been the Clovis Indians, correct? No, I don't think those were the Clovis Indians. So okay, the, I thought the Clovis was... ones came from the south. There, there was another, they oh, came okay. from New Mexico and they, were, they came from all directions. So they came from the east, from the south, and they came from the north, which was the, coming in from the western side, hmm. from Siberia. But there was there were over a hundred languages spoken. California had more Native Americans than any other state. It had, had 500,000 Native Americans wow. speaking a hundred languages in this vastly diverse environment. 